Many factors. One, of course, is that uh, India's economic rise now is accepted as uh, a, a um, uh, potential uh, market uh, for Western uh, economies. Mm -hmm. uh, more, uh, we are the fifth largest economy. This is constantly noted. Today I was hearing the commentary on the French TV channels while they were covering the parade. And it was said that, you know, more than once that <laughs> India is not the same India as they had thought earlier. It is the fifth largest economy. And they said on the very day we are having this parade, right. India has launched Chandrayaan mission. So it has very strong uh, space technology. So it's a country that has to be uh, contended with. And then, of course, the demography of India, the fact that, and this has been noted in the French, I was reading some articles that have appeared on the occasion of Prime Minister's visit. Right. That uh, with this 1.4 point some billion right. population, the largest in the world, uh, uh, it is going to provide let, 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 let me just interject power. there. You know, I, I get the point that India is, is, the India of today is not the India of before. The India's economy is robust and growing. But there's also this stream of thought that says the reason why the United States wants closer relations with India is because it wants to use India as a counterweight against China in its contain China policy. Is that what the United States and the other powers in the West are trying to do, but closely no, allying themselves inter with You it. interrupted me. I was giving you a variety of reasons, and I was coming to the last reason, right. which is China. Uh, they, they realize that India is the only country that can in Asia that can stand up to China. Uh, Japan, South Korea, Philippines, uh, they cannot do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but if the United States and India join their hands and both have problems with China, then given India's stature uh, in Asia and its potential, uh, India can be a very valuable and almost indispensable partner in order to manage China's rise in Asia and present uh, deterrence uh, as a reality uh, to Chinese uh, adventurism. So that is very much there. But that may be the Chinese, that may be the U.S. view, right? And that may partly be our view. But uh, it is not as if uh, when we become closer to China, we have only uh, to United States, we have only China in mind. Far from it. All right. In fact, All right. our interest in the United States is basically technology, economy, investment, uh, to be on the forefront of all these critical and emerging technologies, and that's the sense of what was agreed in the ICET. As, a, as well as, of course, uh, strengthening our uh, respective presence, uh, presence in the Indian Ocean. Absolutely. Uh, the exercise that we do, uh, the, the platform that they're giving us in order to manage the, the maritime space around yes. us, underwater domain uh, technologies. All these are aspects of a larger deterrence uh, that is being built up uh, right. with, with the U.S. And, and India in order to uh, deter China. But for us, this is one important aspect but far from the most important aspect of All why right. we are becoming to the united states absolutely